It was a cold Christmas Eve night in the city of Chicago. A blizzard had set in. A little boy was standing on the corner selling newspapers. He wasn't selling many. People were rushing by, hurrying home to get ready for Christmas morning. So he went up to a policeman and said, Mister, you wouldn't happen to know where a little boy could find a warm place to stay tonight, would you? He said, I stay down the street, up in an alley in a cardboard box. It gets mighty cold in there at night. Sure would be nice to have some place warm to stay. The policeman looked down and said, Son, if you go down this street, you find a big old white house with a picket fence around it. You go up and knock on the door, and when they open up, you just say, John 316, and they'll let you in. So he took off down the street, found the white house, and went up and knocked on the door. Pretty soon, this little lady opened the door, and he looked at her and said, John 316. She smiled and said, come on in, son. She took him in the living room, set him in a big old rocking chair next to the fireplace, went out and left him for a while. As he sat there, he thought, John 316? I don't understand it, but it sure makes a cold boy warm. Well, in a few minutes, she came back in and asked him if he was hungry. He said, yes, ma'am. I haven't eaten in two or three days. Sure would be nice to have some food. So she took him in the kitchen, set him down to a big old table spread with fine food. As he sat there and ate to his heart's content, he thought again, John 3.16, I don't understand it, but it sure makes a hungry boy full. Well, when he finished, she took him upstairs and put him in a big old tub of warm water. As he sat there, he thought, I've never had a real bath before. This sure feels good. And then the thought crossed his mind again, John 3.16. I still don't understand it, but it sure makes a dirty boy clean. Well, when he finished, she took him upstairs and put him in a big old feather bed and pulled the covers around his neck, kissed him goodnight, and turned out the lights. As he lay there in the dark looking out the window at the snowfall, he thought again, John 3.16. I just don't understand it. But it sure makes a tired boy rested. Well, the next morning she got him up, took him downstairs, fed him a big old breakfast. When he finished, she took him back in the living room, set him in the rocking chair next to the Christmas tree, got her Bible and sat on the floor in front of him. She looked at him and asked him if he'd ever heard of John 3.16 before. He said, no, ma'am. First time I ever heard it was last night when that policeman told me to use it. So she opened her Bible and she read John 3.16. And then she read him the Christmas story explaining the birth to Jesus and what the Christmas season was all about. And right there in front of that fireplace, that little boy gave his heart to the Lord. And as they sat and talked about that, he thought, John 3.16? I still don't understand everything about it, but it sure makes a lost boy say, you know what, folks? I don't understand either. Why God loved us all so much. He was willing to send his son Give us a reason to celebrate Christmas and to have life. So as we approach this time of the year, I ask you not to forget the less fortunate, but always remember that Jesus is what the Christmas season is all about.
Merry Christmas, everybody.